Hello, welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, February 1st. You see temperatures in the low 30s, a couple of degrees either way. A little warmer across southeast lower Michigan. Uh, we expect uh, more in the way of sunshine today, so it'll be a pretty nice day. Although we'll have co cold air evection, the sunshine will help to make up for it. So I think we'll have temperatures rise up to the uh, 35 to 40 degree mark across the area. So we'll be well above normal. We're going to be watching the big storm system we've been talking about for about eight or nine days now. Uh, obviously, that storm is uh, track is going to be tracking off to the west, and that's going to keep the heaviest snow from portions of uh, Nebraska and Iowa into Wisconsin and the UP, where they could see about a half a foot to a foot or more of snow in certain areas. Blizzard warnings, uh, winter storm warnings occurring throughout uh, many portions of the Midwest and Corn Belt and uh, heading towards the UP. If we take a look at a wider range across the Great Lakes, again, you can see lots of uh, temperatures near freezing across lower Michigan, with the exception of warmer conditions across the uh, metro Detroit area. And then you go back down into uh, much of Wisconsin, temperatures are falling down into the low and uh, mid and upper 20s. So that's the area where I think they're going to be under the gun for the heaviest snow. If we look at the next map, you can see our storm center now churning across the California and Nevada area. And it's going to be marching towards Texas, and then it'll make a northeast cut towards uh, eastern Wisconsin or Lake Michigan. You can see on radar that activity now being thrown out into the plains here. And again, that'll be increasing here as we get into tonight out there. And then she'll be a pretty good healthy storm as we get into the day on Tuesday uh, with lots of snow flying from Nebraska and Iowa pushing towards the UP. If we look at the uh, forecast map by 1 o'clock later today, a uh, weak system coming through the northern Great Lakes. Again, we've got to watch this high pressure. Again, it's pretty much a done deal, looks like, as far as the heavy snow. But uh, if we get that cold high pressure system to hold a little more firmly, we've got to watch areas of mid-Michigan for uh, tomorrow that could start off with a pretty good burst of snow and maybe a period of freezing rain before it warms up and changes to all rain. It's not impossible. We could see a quick couple of inches uh, if that snow develops, it could come down pretty heavy, although it may not last very long at all. But uh, the main system that will be gathering strength will be heading uh, into Texas. It will organize and then move to the northeast. And you can see as we get into uh, Tuesday at 1 o'clock, that system, double barrel low pressure system, across portions of Iowa into Illinois, moving towards the uh, northwest portions of the uh, lower peninsula. It'll be down to 995 millibars. Again, very heavy snow on its northwest track of that storm. You can see all the way from Nebraska and Iowa, southeast uh, Minnesota, much of Wisconsin, and much of the UP. Expected to get quite a bit of snowfall. As far as precipitation, the GFS trying to point out that dry slot. Uh, while in my forecast, I think we'll get about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain over much of the area. It's certainly possible if you get under a quarter of an inch or around a quarter of an inch, it'll probably be because of this dry slot, the heaviest precipitation, much of it in the form of snow off to the northwest, and then thunderstorms well off to the southeast. We could see a couple of thunder showers across southeast lower Michigan tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, it's, it, we take a look now at the uh, Japanese model. You can see again, it's trying to show the uh, dry slot moving in, although it doesn't get it as far north and gives much of the area around a half inch to one inch of rainfall. And again, heavier thunderstorms, and there can be a lot of severe <clears throat> activity across the Tennessee and far southern Ohio Valley where they could even run a risk for some tornadoes. So this looks like a pretty stormy uh, 36 to 48 hours coming up. Although it could be a whole lot worse for us, we're actually going to escape this pretty uh, pretty easily. We're going to go off in this one. The next big significant storm that I see in the long term looks like it's going to be in the week two period. Right now, best bets it would be to our south and up the east coast. But again, that's a long ways away. But uh, certainly not a whole lot of action outside of this storm coming up for much of uh, the um, MAC area. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.